Assalamualaikum, hi guys. Hopefully you are doing great wherever you are. And Alhamdulillah, we are done on module one, number theory. So today we are going to continue with a new module, which is a module two, set function and relation. All right. So these are the contents of this module. We are going to start with set terminologies and concepts. Okay, so we proceed on the operations on sets and then we are going to learn the Cartesian product and also power set. Then we proceed with applications of set theory. Okay. But for this uh, week, we are, uh, you have uh, it. Okay, sorry. You have uh, uh, about it. Um, subtopic again okay, 2.1 and 2.8, but okay, for this week you are going to learn until Cartesian products, all right? Okay, so this are the objective of this module, okay? So let's see the first subtopic, which is a set to minor logics and the concepts, all right? So one of the most basic human is uh, to sort and classify the things. Yeah. Um, for example, okay, what is your gender? Whether you are boy or you are girl, that is also okay. You classify. You classify the things. Okay. So when we talk about uh, skin, skin also, we have a dark skin, we have a thin skin, we have a fair skin, then it also we classify things. Okay? So in mathematics, all these categories, all these uh, classify, all these sorting the things are called as sets. Okay, sets. Okay. So we encounter sets in many different ways every day of our lives. Okay, so what is a set? Okay, it is a, an unordered collection of well-defined objects, which call elements. Okay, so one character, which is a one category. So why it is a unordered? Okay, why it is a unordered? Why? Okay, because of uh, kita tak kisah contoh ya eh, contoh. Set A, okay, consists of element 1, 6, 3, 2. This is still a set. This is an unordered collection of set. Okay, so sama je if you have another set, which is uh, 1, 2, 3, 6. This is what I call as a unordered collection. Okay, actually... A here, sorry, this one uh, for example, B lah. Okay, set A one six three two, set B one two three six. Actually, they have the same element. Okay, the most important thing is they have the same elements. Okay, because after this we are going how to uh, we are going to learn how to order the the sets, the collections of sets. Okay, so be, before we go more further. Okay, let's see the notation for set. Okay, this is a very important thing. Okay, to use a capital letter to represent the sets. Okay. So, for example, macam tadi, saya kata, set A, so I use a capital letter. Set B, also capital letter. So, to represent the, okay, set we use, Capital letter always, okay, and then there are three notations to indicate, okay, the set. The first one is a description, means that you explain everything about the set, the elements of the sets. We have a roster and also the set builder notation, okay. So we usually use a roster. And then sometimes also we use a set with the notations. So let's see, okay, one by one, okay. 
So, what is description? Okay, so you describe everything, elements in, in a word. Nah? Okay, for example, the sets of days in a week containing the elements Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, how about roster? Roster is listing the element of a set inside a pair of braces. Okay? This one. Okay, I'm on discipline. Okay? Kalau kita sebut set, when we talk about set, then you have to put this uh, curly bracket, this curly bracket. Set A is the set of the days in a week where set A is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so this is how we okay, usually represent okay, the set. Okay, how about a set building notation? Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay, so for set building notations, okay, it's a rule that describes the finite properties of an object X. Must satisfy, must satisfy the, the uh, elements of the set. Okay, for example, we have A, which is X such that x is the day in a week. Okay, you hanya cakap dia like this lah. Okay, set A, such that, set A, x, okay, such that we describe what is x. x is the day in a week lah. Okay, so no need to, uh, this one, one by one. Okay, for example, for example, B is um, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, what is set B? Okay, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, set B is actually a prime number. So, if you, this is a roster. This is a roster. Roster notation. But if you to represent your set in a set builder notation, so you can use B, which is a X, such that you explain what is your X. X is a, is a prime number, okay, where X is less than or uh, equal to seven okay all right so let's see the element of sex okay so the object in a sex yeah we call it as elements right usually we use elements like elements of the sex okay so how to write it okay so this is the element elements a this one is in is in set A. Okay, how we read it? Element uh, element A is in set A. Okay, A is an element of a set A, or we read as a, A belongs to A, or A is an element of A. Okay. All right. So let's see the example the sets of all vowels in the english alphabet a e i o u can be written as okay so vowel v a e i o u okay Alright, so this one, this one, okay, the first one is a description notation. The sets of all vowels in the English alphabet, okay, A, E, I, O, U. So, it is also can be written as P, A, E, I, O, U. So, this one is a roster notation, okay. So, the sets of all possible integers that less than 10 can be expressed by odd, right? Odd ni apa? Odd ni ganjil. Okay, odd ganjil. 
satu, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty one, thirty three, and so on. That is odd. Okay, even even is a number bullet two, four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, uh, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. Okay? Alright, so the sets of all positive integers less than 10 can be expressed by, okay, odd, odd number, okay, one positive, huh? positive integer, odd positive integer less than 10, one, Three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, this is a rooster. Okay, you can also represent in okay, a set with the notation which is a zero. Okay, which is x such that x less than ten, where x is in positive integer yeah positive integer maksudnya okay, dia akan start from 1 2 3 until positive infinity okay and also x less than 10 x is in positive integer and x is odd number okay and then tutup balik curly bracket dia like this eh? ada sudah yang tak pandai tulis this one dia jadi macam ni apa dah ah, okay so macam ni tulis cantik-cantik okay alright okay next Okay, the set of positive integer less than 100 can be denoted by, okay, if you use a uh, roster notation, so usually, generally, eh, generally, we use uh, A, A to pre uh, represent our set. It can be A, it can be B, depends on the question, but if the question uh, don't mention what set is this, so you can use A, okay, in general. So, the sets of positive integer less than 100. So, positive integer, yeah. Start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, until what? Until less than 100, which is uh, until 99. Yeah, this is a roster notation. Or you may use... Uh, Set building notation as well, which is a uh, set A is a uh, act. Okay, and then you have to explain what is your act such that x less than 100 and x is a positive integer. Yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, this one can take a Okay, this one can take a Alright, so So this is a set with annotation, you can see And also here Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 are called elements. Elements of set A. Okay, elements of set A. Okay, so. Sets also, okay, uh, having seriously uh, unrelated elements. Okay. For example, a to Amir, Kuala Lumpur is the set containing the four elements. Okay, kadang-kadang dia tak berkaitan. Okay. 
Okay, so how about kalau dia bukan set? Okay, how about kalau dia bukan set? Kalau dia ada, uh, okay. Uh, so, untuk saya tulis, okay. Kalau macam ni kan. Set A. Okay, so set A 1, 2, 3 until 99. So, we can say that 1 is an element of set A. 2 is uh, two is an element of set A. Dia macam E tapi dia bulat ya. Eh? Dia macam E tapi dia bulat. Okay, like this. Um, dia bulat. So, this is 2 is an element of set A. Uh, 99 is an element of set A. 70 is also elements of set A and so on. Okay. So how about if the element is not a set? It's not, uh, the element is not the element of the set. Okay. So we use this symbol. It's not an element. E and then the slash lah. So not an element. Okay. Alright. So. Okay, so this one A is not an element of set A, which is a uh, A does not belong to set A. Okay, for example, okay, for example, uh, given a set A, okay, for example, set A, one, two, three, okay, so, Okay, this uh, one is an element of set A, two is an element of set A, how about three? Yeah, three is an element of set A. Mm -hmm. How about if you have five? No, there is no five elements in A, so five is not an element of A. Okay? Alright, so we also have uh, this symbol. What is this symbol? This is a uh, null set or also known as empty set. Okay, sama ada you pakai bulat ni, slash, okay, or this one. Macam tu saja. Kali bracket yang kosong, there's no element. So, this is we call as an empty set or null set. So what is empty set? Empty sets mean the set has no elements. The set has no elements. No elements, okay? Macam, uh, okay. Uh, contoh, eh, you ada bekas, okay? Bekas, uh, okay, kita kata kita ada bekas makanan, okay, bekas makanan, so, kalau dia ada coklat, so elements dia adalah coklat-coklat lah. Okay, kita ada bekas makanan. So, dalam bekas tu, let's say dia ada, kita kata bekas makanan tu, uh, elemen dia adalah coklat. So, dia akan ada, mungkin Cadbury, dia akan ada Toblerone, mungkin dia akan ada, uh, apa, uh, chocolates and well so on. Okay. So, kalau you tak ada elemen, maksudnya bekas makanan tu kosong. Okay? Bekas makanan tu kosong. Alright? Okay, so let's see the sets of real number. And actually, we have discussed this in a module 1. Yang uh, ada yang ni yang bulat-bulat tu, my dear. Okay? Yang this one. Number system, ya. Yeah. Okay, number system tu. Okay. So, uh, in a module 1, we represent uh, all of these things. Okay, all of these things in a okay, number system. But now, okay, I uh, divide it into the chart. Lah. So, you can clearly see. Okay, kalau uh, apa? 
Number system tu mungkin you tak nampak. You can clearly see. So this one you can see. Obviously. Okay, so real number we divide into two groups. They are rational numbers and also irrational number as well. Rational, I said uh, we use a notation Q. Okay, so bear in your mind, in this course, you are going to use so many symbols. You have to know what symbol it is. Okay, the meaning of each symbol, you have to know it. Q, Q is a rational number. Okay, if after this you, you okay, find a Q notation, so Q is a rational number. Irrational, so some book use a... Uh, Okay, sorry, before that, uh, some books use uh, I for irrational. I or Q. Okay, some other I or Q. Some books use I, some books use Q for rational. Okay, how about irrational? So, some books use a Q bar and some books also use a I bar. Okay, I bar. Indicating irrational numbers representing irrational numbers okay so rational numbers the key word is ratio okay ratio pecahan so uh, rational number is a over b where a uh, where b is not equal to zero lah kalau dia equal to zero dia adalah undefined okay eh kenapa undefined sebab any number over zero is infinity so that's why it's undefined sebab infinity we are not sure what is the exact value so that's why calculator you tak boleh baca bila you contoh lah you tekan calculator sekarang 2 over 0 you got math error in your calculator because your calculator is undefined calculator does not sure what is the exact value of infinity yeah okay so i talk too much sorry so, rational number, we divide into three, which is integers, fractions, and also terminating or repeating decimal numbers. Okay, so integers, okay, uh, can you think of, sini, from negative infinity to infinity, okay, sama dengan real number. Actually, uh, any number that you can think is actually real number. Okay, so... It is just from, from negative infinity to infinity. So what is the difference between the integers and real number? So there is a slightly difference between the integers and real number. Okay. Um, real number contains of the number in the world. Okay. Can be negative, can be point, can be a constant. Yeah. But integer, okay, you have to consider only... Um, only uh, what we call uh, number yang tiada perpuluhan tak ada perpuluhan whole number ok so integers we specific to positive integer which is start from 1, 2, 3 and infinity and also negative integer Okay, from negative infinity to infinity. Okay, fraction. We have proper, we have improper. Yeah. Okay, infinity ni so uh, macam you ada two point six 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 tak sudah sudah six 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 two. Okay, so you boleh terminate dia. And the two point six six seven. Yeah. Alright, so we go to okay integers. Kita divide lagi into uh, okay, yang ni lah. Uh, Non-negative, which is a positive integer. Natural number and also whole number. Okay, saya so tak tahu kenapa kat sini dia combine. Okay, actually natural dengan positive integer ni sama. N ni macam ni eh. Kalau you jumpa N ni, Maksudnya natural number. 
Dia sama dengan positive integer which is start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until infinity. Okay, madam, what about 0? What about 0? 0 is a whole number which is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10 positive infinity. That is a whole number. Salah ni. Okay. Positive integer sama dengan natural number. Whole number, whole number we start with 0. That is a slightly different between positive integer, natural number and whole number. Okay, whole number we start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 until positive infinity. So, apa saya selalu sebut positive infinity? Because uh, infinity also we have positive and we also have negative. Okay? Alright, so negative integers. Okay, negative infinity until negative point is the smallest lah. Okay, negative infinity. Uh, okay, goes and goes and goes. Uh, move to right. Again, again and again. Okay. So negative uh, 2, negative 1. Alright, so we have a 0. Okay, 0 is 0. Positive integer dah ada kat sini. Okay, and uh, we also have a prime number and also composite. Prime is prime. A number that can be divided by itself and also 1. Okay. Alright, so uh, composite pun saya dah explain earlier uh, in module 1. Okay, composite is a positive integer and also not a prime. Okay, for example, for positive integer, 4 is positive integer and not a prime. Okay, that is a composite. 4, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, Okay, 14 and so on. Okay, when we talk about set, then you should be able to know how to draw a Venn diagram. Sebab, okay, set, set, and kita ada tu, elements, elements tu, kita akan represent in a Venn diagram. Okay, Venn diagram memang kita akan ada a rectangular, okay, a rectangle, you only stand for universal set. Maksudnya all the sets. Okay, all the sets. For example, yeah. for example, you. Dia bukan macam ni. Ini you awak. Okay, yang, yang ni A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, S. Okay, S, T, U, V. Okay, universal set dia ke atas. Faham eh? U, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so set A, okay, bulat. Uh, di dalam bulat ni adalah elements U. Elements ni akan berada dalam bulat. Elements of set A will be inside the, the circles. Okay, will be lying inside the circles. Okay, so uh, cara you tulis set, set ni memang dekat luar. Okay, so let's say set A is a prime, 2, 3, 5, 7. So how you draw a Venn diagram? Like I said, um, okay, you kena ada circle and the rectangle. U kat sini. Set A. Okay. So, yang kita kena isi elemen dalam uh, circle tu. Okay. Macam mana nak tulis? Dia kena ada dot kat depan. That is represent element. 2, 3, 5, 7. So, ada dot kat depan. Maksudnya dia adalah elemen of set A. 
Kalau tak ada, kalau tak ada maksud dia lain dia. Okay. So, please uh, put a note. Okay. Inside, in front of, in front of the elements. Okay. So, what's next? Okay, you punya set A, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, universal ni. Yang selain daripada these elements lah. Okay, kena letak uh, dot kat depan ni. Okay, 1. 2 ada 4. Okay, 5. And then 6. Okay, that's how you draw your Venn diagram. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, so what is a universal set actually? So it is uh, the set that contains all the elements for any specific discussion. Okay, alright. So let's see the example. Let universal set 1, 2, 3, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until 16. So set A. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Set B, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. And set C, 1, 4, 9, 16. Okay. So, this is a universal set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 16. So, you are the 16 element. So, set A. Set A ni apa? What kind of set A? Set A is a... Set A is an odd number. Set B, set B is, is a what? Is a prime number. Okay, set A is odd number, set B is prime number. How about C? Set C ni apa? Set C is a square. Perfect square. Perfect square maksudnya. X square lah. Okay, 1. So, perfect square dia adalah 2. Eh, 1 lah. Sorry. 1 square, so 1. Sorry. Okay. Perfect square. Okay, perfect square. Okay, x is equal to 1. So, x square 1. x is equal to 2 x square 4 x is equal to 3 x square 9 x is equal to 4 x square 16 so let's uh, represent all elements in universal set by using a Venn diagram okay so back your mind when we are talking about set then you have to know how to draw a Venn diagram yeah okay so Okay, what is the first step before you draw a diagram? You have to identify okay, the intersection elements. Apa itu intersection? Okay, the sims elements, the common element. Okay, um, kita pakai simbol. Okay, kita check A dengan B dulu. Intersects B. Maksudnya apa? A intersects B. Maksudnya, okay, they have the same elements. Okay, they have the same elements in common. Okay, so apa yang sama? 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. Okay, so 3, 5, 7, 
11 and 13. Okay, so second one, you have to check uh, A and C. Is there any common element? Uh, sorry, A and C for A and C. Yeah, which is uh, 1, right? 1 and 9. 1 and 9. Okay, 1, 9. Saya suka tulis, walaupun dia unordered, tapi saya suka tulis dia mengikut turutan. Okay, so the third one apa? Ada tak B dengan C? Tak ada. B dengan C? Tak ada. Okay. B dengan C? Empty set lah. Ingat eh. Empty set means the set has no elements. Okay. Alright. Empty set ataupun analysis. So, how to draw a Venn diagram? Okay, you have a set A. You ada tiga set. Set A, B and C. So, kalau kita nak draw, you kena utamakan um, set yang ada common elements dahulu. Common elements paling banyak. Kalau you tengok A intersects B, A intersects C. But, okay, B intersects C. Okay, so you go to empty set. Maksudnya apa? A ni berada kat tengah-tengah. U, uh, tak bulat elok. Sorry. Okay, so set A. Eh, okay, set A akan berada kat tengah-tengah. Okay, better. This one is set A. So, tak kisahlah you nak letak B on the right ataupun C on the left. Tak kisah. This one is uh, unique. Uh, it's not unique uh, answer. Maksudnya apa? Jawapan dia bukan satu. There is uh, another way lah. Uh, okay, yang pastinya A mesti kat tengah. So, A intersects B and also A intersects. Okay, sorry, saya kena lukis besar sebab kita nak uh, include the elements of this. Sorry, again. A. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, yang make sure A kat uh, atas. So, you can put B here. And otherwise C ataupun sini C, B here pun boleh. Sebab the answer is not unique. Maksudnya, hmm, bukan ada hanya satu jawapan lah. Okay, don't forget the rectangle. Hmm. Okay, so and then you must tulis universal set dekat on left top. Okay, on the top left. Okay, sorry. On the top left. Alright, so what's next? What is next? Next is you fill the elements. Okay, what is uh, the elements of uh, A and B? The element of A and B. Okay. Okay, bear your mind. Saya kata bila you tulis element, uh, you must letak dotted kat depan lah. To present element. So, A intersects uh, B have 3 and then 5 and then 7 ah oh, sorry macam tak muat 11 sorry dear and 13 okay so next what's next what's next so, how about A intersect C 1 and 9 
1 and 9. Okay. So how about the rest? How about the rest? Okay. You just fill it. Okay. Uh, what is set A? Set A. Yang tinggal. 1 dah ada. 9. 1 dah ada. 9 dah ada. Okay. 3. 5. 7. 11. 13. What's left? You have only 15 here. Which is a solid A. Semata-mata A. Okay. So, how about B? B. Okay. 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. So, only 2 here. Alright, and C. You have 1, 4, 9, 16, 9 here. Uh, one also here and what's left? You have four and also sixteen. Okay, all right. So what's next? You can uh, re, you can fill the okay the elements in the universal. Semua ni adalah lying in the universal set. Tapi yang dekat luar ni, maksudnya dia bukan di dalam set lah. Contoh apa yang bukan dalam set? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ada 6? Tak ada. So dekat luar lah. 6, 7 ada 8, no, 8, 9 ada 9, okay. 10, okay, 11 here. How about 12? No. So 12 lying on the... Rectangle and then 13, yeah, 14, no, 15, there, and how about 16 here? Okay, so this is how your pentagrams looks like. Okay, yang dekat luar ni adalah dia tidak termasuk dalam all these sets A, B and C. Okay, faham eh? So, ini semua adalah set A. You check betul tak? Set A. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15.